everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here is the UFC champion Henry Cejudo took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the word. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008. But I say go back to 2007. When we walked into the World Championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes a UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. So here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pounds. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up and said it was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the big sports you are. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh.
first round is underway here, we say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length, give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh. Blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Very tricky when he just throws that body kick. Time his shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Just misses with a left hook there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And he landed the right hand there. Nurmagomedov's kick is blocked. What a punch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. How good is that right hand? 30 seconds now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 42 seconds in the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Henry the Messenger to who? Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.